Hi guys, I'm so sorry to have kept you all waiting. I am shooting in Ramoji Film City in Hyderabad and the networks here are terrible. I have been dying to talk to you guys, but well, better late than never. So uh, let's get started. Please shoot your questions. I'm happy to answer all of them. In case you're wondering, I was shooting for my Telugu film, MLA. Okay, so I think I've got some new questions now. Surendran, hi. Barni, hi. Hari Haran, hi Kajal. Before two days, I got a reply from you on Twitter. It's most embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? You should feel happy about it. I thought it was a good thing. Uh, okay, thank you Swaru for your compliment. Okay. Hi, everybody. A big, big hello and lots of love. How are you? I'm doing very well. I've just been very busy running around, shooting, promoting my films. I've had two releases, a Nene Raju Nene Mantri in Telugu and Vivekam in Tamil. And I have just been um, running around with my releases as well as shoot. You have acted so well. Congrats. What will your character be in Mersal? Christy. Oh, Christy, I can't reveal too much about my character in Mersal, but I play a doctor and it's a very, she's a very contemporary uh, 2017 girl and I'm sure you're going to like it. Can you talk something about your next Hindi film? Uh, well, uh, my next Hindi film. So I will be signing one very soon, but as of now, I'm very busy with my commitments in the South. And um, you'll see me soon in many more languages. Okay, what else? Why don't I do more Hindi movies? Um, so luckily, I touch wood, I am pretty fortunate to get a choice between three languages. And I just choose the best script and the best story from amongst the three. Okay. A lot of compliments coming in from uh, Nene Raju, Nene Mantri and Thank Nene. you. Thank you so much for all the lovely compliments for both the films. Uh, I worked very hard on the two films and I'm really glad that you guys liked it. And for those of you who haven't seen the movies, hello guys, please go watch it ASAP. What's the secret behind your cuteness? <laughs> well, uh, I don't think there's a secret as such. Uh, just be yourself, I guess. I don't know how to answer this one. <laughs> My performance in Vivekam. Thank you very much. And I will definitely do more such roles. Uh, so you guys like my characters. I'm glad. Thank you. Some words about working with Thalapati. It was wonderful working with him again. I've done two movies with him earlier. And this is my third film with, uh, with him, with Vijay. And uh, he's a wonderful co-actor. He's a wonderful person. Always a pleasure working with him. Macho song was very good to hear. Will it be a visual treat too? Hmm, you're gonna have to go see that to find out. Very glad to have you. Okay, I cannot follow up. I, I cannot keep up with the speed of this. Uh, One of the most memorable moments uh, during the shoot of any of your films that you want to talk about maybe? Mm, we recently, so. Uh, so, okay, let me tell you guys about my shooting experience with Vivegam. Uh, we shot in sub-degree temperatures. We shot in Eastern Europe and uh, different countries, Slovenia, Bulgaria, Serbia. And it was just really, really cold. Uh, it was about minus 12 to minus 14 at night. And I had this entire night sequence. For those of you who've seen the film, y'all would know what I'm talking about. Uh, I had this entire night sequence where I'm roaming around and um, you know, I'm constantly on the telephone and I'm running. And I shot all of this in cotton and linen saris. And I, trust me, it was really difficult because it was so cold. And I'm someone who just cannot tolerate the cold. So I had a really tough time. But yeah, memorable nonetheless. Okay, next. Um, from Bangladesh. Who is this? You're my favorite actor. Thank you so much. Love to everyone in Bangladesh. Okay, read the questions for me. Experience about working with uh, Ajit once again. 
Well, it was wonderful working with him. He is a, an extremely genuine person, a very kind soul, very compassionate. And um, of course, we all know about how professional he is. So um, it was a great experience working with Ajit sir. And um, yeah, I'm really happy that the movie is doing very well, especially for him. He worked very hard on it. Okay. A lot of them have seen you in Makudira in Hindi and they love it and they all compliment you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please watch my other movies in Hindi also now. Aapka smile ka to jawab nahi. Thank you. Haan, mein Colgate hi use karte ho. When am I going to get married? Guys, uh, soon. I'll tell you all when, when I do, but as of now, there are no plans. But when I do, trust me, I'll be the first person to announce it. We'll have a live chat show like this, okay? I'll tell you all about it then. <laughs> okay. Uh, experiences about working with Mahesh and NTR. Wonderful, both are uh, dear friends, both are fabulous actors, and was great to work with both. Um, in tradition, I look lovely in traditional dresses and sarees. Thank you. See, that's why I'm wearing one for you today. Uh, me and my friend watch Bollywood and Tollywood films. What? It's cruel. It went up too fast. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi to all of you guys as well. And uh, I hope that Lord Ganesha brings uh, everything in our lives that we deserve. Mm. Okay. Okay, come on, tell me. What are your future plans after films? What would you like to do? So, um, at I, at 50, what would I like to do? A uh, very interesting question. Actually, a very frightening question as well. So, at 50, um, definitely want to have kids, I mean, obviously. And um, I'd like to continue doing what I do. I mean, I love to act, so it will definitely be a part of my life in some way. But um, I wouldn't want to go through the entire rigmarole and lifestyle that comes along with my job. So I'm sure that's going to cut down and I'll probably be involved in some sort of business of my own, I guess. I've not really thought about it. What is that you look in a script when you do a movie? Uh, so what I look for in a script when I do a movie? Um, most importantly, my role, my character and uh, the entire story in totality that's about it and i'm a very instinctive person so i go with my gut feeling your experience of working with raj Mauli, sir. it was fabulous working with raj Mauli. so anyone who asks this question anyone who uh, any of his actors who have to answer this question will just say the same thing he is a complete honor and delight to work with um university by himself we've all learned so much from him and uh, for me, it's been one of my best experiences. Very, very cherished. Lots of love coming from Singapore. Thank you. Lots of love back to Singapore. Mm. Okay, next. To be an established actress, you need to be uh, you need to measure your success and build on this. How would you evaluate your success within your role with your role? Um, I believe we should not take our success too seriously. I mean, um, yes, it's a part and parcel of our life, but it's like a nine to five job. We're all very professional about it, but our personal lives are still very different from it. So I've always believed in this one philosophy of not taking success to my head and failure to my heart, and that's how I live my life. Any plans of doing Malayalam films? Yes, I'd love to do Malayalam. I've heard a lot of stories. I have actually wanted to do it a couple of times, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to accommodate the dates for it so far. But very soon. What was the last movie that you've seen? Mm, I saw the horror film Annabelle just a couple of days ago, and it freaked me out. I was really, really scared. Who is your favorite actor in the industry? My favorite actor in the industry, very difficult question. Um, I think all my co-actors who I've worked with are wonderful uh, professionals in their own respective ways. And um, I admire a lot of different qualities about them. 
the one person who I have always been in awe of is Mr. Nagarjuna. If you were a, if you weren't an actress, what would you have been? What was the other profession? If I wasn't an actress, I would be working uh, at a regular corporate, uh, probably multinational or something, or I would have started something of my own. At this point, what's your alternate career? <laughs> okay, who's asking me that question? My alternative career option? Well, anyway, very interesting question. So, uh, along with acting, there are many things that I'd like to pursue. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to go study some more. And uh, maybe after that, get some more clarity, diversify into several things. And um, like I said, business is always on my mind. So, probably start a, start a venture of my own. Okay, next. Really waiting for Mersal. Thank you, and we are very excited to bring Mersal to you. So it's going to come soon, Diwali this year, and you guys are gonna like it. I'm sure. What was the toughest thing you faced uh, after becoming an actress? Any hardships during your journey? Hardships that I faced after becoming an actress. Well. Um, different sorts of temperatures I guess in different countries and uh, so we usually go to shoot a lot of our films out of the country and we shoot in several places which has really cold climates and invariably I am in chiffons at that point of time and I'm always dying in the cold so that is a massive hardship that I've had to face uh, also it, it's it's the reverse I mean sometimes we shoot in the most gruesomely hot places so it's very unpredictable. I mean, uh, it's not all hunky-dory. It's not all easy. The lifestyle has to be very disciplined. Um, we wake up really early in the mornings. We have a very difficult, hectic day ahead. We shoot for about a good, grueling 14 hours. And then we have our other commitments. So it's it's a difficult life. Someone wants to know about your educational background. Is it related to acting? Oh, uh, no, actually. I did my bachelor's in mass media. I specialize in advertising and marketing. And acting happened um, completely as serendipity, but I love it. Okay, next. What's next? What is your greatest weakness in terms of profession in professional context? Greatest weakness in professional context. Um. I take everything as a challenge and I am the sort of person who likes to uh, improve with every film of mine. So I wouldn't be able to pinpoint at any one specific weakness as such. I hopefully don't have any. But um, there are several challenges and uh, I like to up my game, do better, perform better with every film of mine and I take that as a challenge every time. A lot of people are asking you to sing two lines from any of your favorite songs. What? No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> okay, no. Why don't you go watch my movies? And maybe you should watch Vivegam because my character Yalini sings and plus she's a music teacher. Okay, next. Okay, all the best for your new project. Da 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 da. Thank you, guys. Dhana, thank you. Prakash, thank you. Do I know how to speak Nepali? No, I'm sorry. I think I should just focus on the languages I'm currently working in. But uh, if given an opportunity, I'll surely pick it up. What do you think you can bring to the world of acting and what qualities one must possess in order to become as successful as you are? Uh, in order to become successful in any field, not just acting, I think the most important thing is determ grit, determination, um, passion for what you do, a lot of patience and the most important thing that I completely swear by is hard work. It never lets you down. Okay, next. Lots of love coming in from Switzerland. Thank you everyone in Switzerland. I've come to your country several times and I love it and uh, I can't wait to come back. Okay, next.
how do you think you can how how do you manage to handle fail and the perks and the downfalls that come with it mm. suggestions for aspiring actresses <laughs> okay well suggestions for aspiring actresses uh be slightly detached don't get too attached to uh the success or the failure don't believe that this is your life this is a part of your life it's not your entire life and your life should always be very normal and just live a regular modest life like how we've all lived okay how do you manage to balance your uh, mood with your acting career like if you're for example if you're sad on a certain day and you have to do a very happy role how do you manage so that it? gets difficult um very good question how do i balance my real life emotion with my real life presentation of emotion um that does get a little tricky sometimes because sometimes when you're just not in the mood and you're uh probably feeling really low you have to enact the most enthusiastic vibrant scene of your life and it does get it does take a toll but somehow i guess it's just the love for my craft um i snap in and out once the camera is rolling thankfully how important do you think is it is how do you, how important do you think political correctness is uh, for being a celebrity oh uh, political correctness is important i think in every aspect of life regardless of what job you do um having said that i am uh, polite but i do not feel the need to be um sugary syrupy sweet to everyone i meet yep then how do you treat how do you uh, deal with competition in the industry uh so competition is always welcome it just helps uh, me to um focus and deliver better and uh, as long as uh, i am comfortable with the kind of roles i do and i'm 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 in a very secure i'm a very secure person otherwise so i don't really have a problem with it i've done various subjects with two actresses or more given a chance would you do a horror film considering i just saw a horror film a couple of days ago i probably wouldn't at this point of time i'm really scared out of my mind but uh maybe if the script is enticing enough what were your thoughts when you just when you first started off pursuing acting as a profession how did what was running in your what mind? were my thoughts when i pursued acting for the first time uh i thought i'd do this for the fun of it and i would do it for a little while and then i'd move on to something else but uh, thankfully i did not do that thankfully i stuck on and um i love what i do couldn't be happier would you do a negative shade would yes i cannot wait to do to, uh, to do to play an antagonist to do an, a full fledged negative role so uh, yes definitely have you seen malayalam films of so any favorites uh okay what are the other questions share the experience uh with vivegam crew your director it was wonderful working with the entire crew with the entire cast of vivegam a uh, very hard working people my director uh, mr shiva he is extremely passionate about what he does and uh, he almost goes into a trance like state when he's directing which is very surreal and wonderful to experience favorite co-actresses in the industry best friends or friends um so i have my professional rapport with everyone in the industry with my colleagues with my co-actors with everyone and my friends are all people i've grown up with back home from school and college uh but having said that i still share um a very nice vibe every time i meet my my colleagues and my industry people next uh do you think there's any like improvement in uh, in the sense do you want to improve in something that you maybe have do not have of course so i feel there is scope for improvement each and every time and i'd like to improve with every film of mine or uh, try to perform better or try to outdo the earlier film and uh, yes i feel there's scope for improvement in every aspect of life 
personal as well as professional. If the genie came out of the bottle and asked you to ask you to tell the three wishes, what would they probably be? Hmm. So if I met a genie, I would ask for uh, number one, a lot of pizza. Number two, a lot of desserts. Number three, being able to eat all of that and not put on a single gram. <laughs> Next. Thank you guys. I also love wearing sarees. What do we have next? Have you visited Northeast or plan to do so in the future? I haven't visited the Northeast as yet, but I'm really excited about going there. Really looking forward to it. And I'm going to plan a trip very soon. I hope to see you there. Okay, what do we have next? Keep up with your exit acting. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the love, guys. This was wonderful. And this is my very first Facebook live chat. But I promise that I'm going to do a lot more of this. So I'm going to resume work now. See you guys soon. Lots of love.